It was one of those games you had to see to believe, and even if you saw it, you probably didn't believe what was happening as Florida State throttled third-ranked North Carolina 90-57 at the Tucker Center. The countdown begins. Knowles win. 90-57. 90-57. It was just a great thing to be a part of, and um, the energy in the building and them rushing the court and doing those things is it's something that you want to. It's, it's a memory that I'll never get. I'll never forget. I remember just a lot of intensity, a lot of focus, and uh, you know, just just a great memory to write down in uh, in my memory book. The game was a perfect storm for the Seminoles, led by a transcendent performance from David Dolkies, who scored a career high 32 points on 12 of 14 shooting. My favorite man is Davis. Just him, uh, he was just in the zone that I've never seen nobody in. Well, I've never been a part of nothing like that. A guy who, who, who cared so much about the team, you know, and had shooting roles all throughout his career, you know, to step up and, uh, and, and uh, carry us on a, on a great win like that, you know. And, you know he'll, he'll always remember that and tell his kids and they'll tell their kids. Even future Knowles took notice that day. I'd have to say it was really magical because we, there was like a, it was a dog fight in the beginning, but after that, it, the FSU just started to pull away, and it was just like something you don't see, especially high major, two high major programs, and one blow one blows the other out. Of course, 2013 is a new year, so while the memory is nice, it does nothing for this year's team. Well, when I look back at last year, you know, something that's a great memory. But, but unfortunately, we won't be able to use any of those players or any of those points in those games. So we got to put that behind us and understand this is a new day, new team, and we are too. With the Tar Heels on deck for Saturday afternoon, the buzz is still around. And once again, the Tucker Center will be packed. Fans can come at 12.30 and hear a live band, take pictures with the Orange Bowl trophy, and even win an iPad Mini and take in the game at 2. Some little players are excited to have a full house for the game. There's nothing like it. You know, I think it's one of the toughest places to play in the ACC once. We really packed the tuck. Um, I want everybody to come there tomorrow, and I want them to, to be on their feet the whole time. Yeah, I've been excited because I've seen uh, most of the other schools that have that we've been to have great attendance and stuff like that have had a set-out crowd, and I just wanted to experience what's that like. A victory this year doesn't signal a gigantic upset. It just means the Seminoles are still atop the ACC standings, something Seminole fans have no difficulty believing anymore. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.